it's time for our random non-hockey question of the week, but it does actually kind of relate to this week's guest, Liam Stewart. Uh, without being able to play too much hockey, he, he gravitated towards video games uh, and streaming them on Twitch. So the random non-hockey question of the week this week, Joe, is what three video games helped you get through 2020 the most? Uh, well, the start of 2020 was a bit of a shitter for me. I got shingles, which is really uh not ideal so i was kind of couch bound and couldn't do anything uh for about a month uh right in the peak of summer so brutal yeah but uh right at that time um stumbled across the playstation store and resident evil 2 the remake was there and i loved i love resident evil games um i love the resident evil world zombie games in general uh resident evil 2 was a game that i played as a kid for about 49 hours straight one time to try and win uh completed <laughs> over a weekend um and so to see that remake there was awesome so and it's really well done it brings back all the the feelings of the original game um but the graphics and everything are just amazing so i started with that and then slipped into a like another highly anticipated um game which was the last of us 2 but that was in the kind of peak pandemic the world's ending everything's fucked kind of situation and it was just too <laughs> grim i couldn't i couldn't go on there was there was a horrific death scene near the start that kind of shook me and then wow. after that it was just oh, it was just too real it was just too real with everything going on in the world so i needed a bit of comic book help relief and so i went back to spider-man the spider-man game which is a couple couple of years old and just floated around New York City and flinged webs and flung around and just had a good time away from the grimness that was The Last of Us 2 and and the world <laughs> outside, really. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Yeah. I love that. Speaking of like the kind of, the, the kind of vibe with Last of Us 2, I, uh, this isn't in my top, well, in my three, but uh, I started playing The Division 2 again. Yep. Uh, this is the one that is based in Washington, D.C., it is quite, because uh, I've been, I don't know if you've been to DC before, but I, I went a few years ago uh, with Sarah on our way back from Toronto and, you know, kind of seeing the area. There's actually um, where the Washington Capitals play. That area is in the game, that Chinatown area. You go into the arena as well, mm. but I think it's set up like a, a basketball court uh, at the time. But uh, it just got too real, uh, everything going on there in D.C., but also the pandemic and, I mean, everything there. It was just like, I can't handle this anymore. So I went back to my Nintendo ways, and my biggest game of the year was uh, Animal Crossing uh, New Horizons. It was just, I love the idea of having this, uh, this deserted island that you can move to and build up a new life. Um, and from basically the end of March uh, last year, that was that took up a lot of my time. I've racked up now probably close to 400 hours. I have friends that have racked up eight, double that, which is insane. But I just like the idea that you could do whatever you want. You could chill, you could fish, you can, you know, design areas. I create like a basketball court and a soccer field and all this other things. Like, yeah, I, I just love it. Yeah. And I love that kind of creative freedom that a, a game like that has. You just do whatever you want. You know, there's no time limits or anything. It's, it's all based on um, real world time. So play it however you want, which is great. And then uh, to keep the competitive side of me going, uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is always my jam. I play that a lot online with my wife, Sarah, a ton of fun. And then to keep the sports side of me going, I uh, wasn't getting much hockey, but I wasn't even playing much Chell aside from when I was streaming it. Um, uh, PGA Tour, 2K21, I loved a bit of golf. It was just really, it's another thing. It was a nice relaxing escape yep. uh, because there isn't like a, a lot of music. There isn't crowds or anything like that. It's just nature sounds and some beautiful golf courses. Just go out and shoot 18 holes and just kind of relax. I imagine that's yeah. a perfect one to kind of chuck a podcast on and just um, just play away. You don't need to really focus on zombies creeping up behind you and listen to that. You can just kind of relax and play golf and get really annoyed that you um <laughs> ship over the green and yeah and then your your ball goes in the water totally relaxing uh, that <laughs> didn't happen to me at all 